All right, thanks, Jason. Even though Delta isn't coming directly for us, the impacts can already be felt down at the beach. Our Baldwin County reporter Michael Warwick live in Gulf Shores. Michael, the surf is kicking up out there. How are people reacting to this storm? Well, you know, it was just the beginning of this week, Lenise. There was so much concern about what Hurricane Delta would bring to this area, given the destruction that Hurricane Sally caused just last week. Well, you can certainly feel the gratitude, if you will, of residents here. A lot of people thankful that the conditions so far are not near as severe as what Delta uh, as what Sally gave to this area uh, last month. Um, that's not to say, though, that it doesn't feel like something powerful is out there in the Gulf this evening. Uh, the Gulf is churning. Uh, the waves are up. You're feeling constant wind here. Uh, the waves really are only going to gain strength as we go throughout the evening, prompting lifeguards to raise red flags for a very high rip current risk. These conditions alone have residents thankful but thinking of our neighbors west. When you have a hurricane coming through, it's wide. Now my prayers are with you guys down there in Louisiana, and uh, it seems like once a year you guys get slammed by something, and uh, hopefully you'll pull it together and survive this one. Well, the conditions right now, nice for the most part, other than the strong rip current risk and the high waves. As you see some people out walking the beach right now, you talk to some people here, both visitors and residents who say it really is remarkable how a hurricane hundreds of miles away can be felt here. And though a lot of gratitude tonight that it isn't closer. Live in Gulf Shores, Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News.